your own reckless affairs. Are you still seeing that opera singer you believe no one knows about? You judge me, yet you cannot possibly understand the responsibility of heading a family because you've never had one. Nah, but Daphne is my family now, and there is no changing that. Though it is most unfortunate that I shall never quite reach the lofty ideal you have demonstrated. What is most unfortunate is the fact that your father was so absent. He never gave you a proper example of how to lead a household.
trust your father, you would not. Father outweighs any affection that you might bear towards me. And you are right. It cannot be undone. My course is adieu in the next few days. You will know then which vow you have broken and how we are to spend the rest of our lives. Miserable together. Perfectly happy apart. Dearest reader, a question. Is anything more exhilarating than taking a gamble? For it is often the highest risk that carries the greatest reward. to attend. Once we unmask Whistledown. Yes, yes, the Featherington honour will be restored. I must return home. I shall take the back stairs so no one will see me. Screaming. 
appreciated, but there is nothing more you can do. Marina. It is over. I have already accepted the fact. Thank you for your efforts. Missing the concert. Indeed. Not exactly in the mood for music and finance this evening. Go. This is certainly not hush. You. you may hope now, but the pain will pass. You have the love of all your family and the honor of your actions. Soon you will forget Miss Thompson's name and it will be as if you never loved your daughter. And how have these precepts served you? Aside from being the most dismal, most troubling ones I've heard in quite some time.
to make a stop and pick up a friend. A friend? Should I not have a friend? Not bound by the rules of society. <laughs> Please do not tell mother.
talk. Marina? Are you still awake? These fates await the eager matches of the season of 1813. Only two things will tell. Time, and as always, this author. You are permitted to smile, Your Graces. Might you both move a bit closer as well? Should you not 
be off somewhere getting ready to attend your very first ball. Brother, might I be able to join in on the fun this summer at Aubrey Hall? Brother! Provided you stay clear of my lucky mind, I think it'd be a fine idea. You cannot be in earnest. I should begin practicing straight away. What other places have you done? Many places at least have many interests. Many secrets. You need to be careful, Benedict. Madame Delacroix may not be who you think she is, and consorting with Emma may be consequences. I would have expected this from anyone but you. You think just because Madame Delacroix has a paid occupation, or because she does not reside within the bounds of Grover Square, she's different, is that it? She's somehow less deserving of my attention because she's not whom polite society deems appropriate. That is not what I'm saying. That's all you say. Several weeks ago, and uh, 
together and marry and have our child. Sir Philip found this half-written letter amongst George's belongings after he... Um... If it were not for your recent inquiries, Sir Philip never would have known that I was here. And I never would have known George. He loved me. All this time, he loved me. in the village. to Will's boxing match.
worthless. You don't need to take my word. Instead, you can take the deed to my house. Should I lose, it's yours.
the Duke's triumph was his and his alone. It had to be. Mom, yeah. I just wanted to let you know that your room is all Grace. set up and ready for Indeed. you. We can't wait to have you back here with us. So, yeah, uh, call me when you can. Love you. Let the cat 
Santos go down. Let me see. And then the cat. And then the cat. something in your family's favor, Pen. She told me so. Well, that certainly is an impressive feat, running two businesses. Oh, we should both aspire to be just like her. Unmarried, earning our own money. Look, I'm happy you found her, Elle, but I do not think I could ever be like that. You know how Dash is for a sister. That makes achieving the life you wish for all the more easier. The status of my family, however, is an entirely different story, which will not be changing the foreseeable future.
you the misery? Always interested in a good fight. Why did you want us here? I want to place a sizable wager on this match. And I'm told you two can manage serious transactions. My money's on the beast. With Mondrich heavily favoured. There's only one reason a flash cold lord would come to us for such a bet. Anyone who knows you must know your word is worthless. You don't need to take my word. Instead, you can take the deed to my house. Should I use it, yours? I would merely be doing my duty. Ah, respectful marriage. Miss Thompson, what a fine thing. Sir Philip inherited the grain title. He has a perfectly adequate estate to support you and perhaps your distant cousins too. I cannot. I do not know this man. I do not love this man. I cannot marry this man. George cared for you very much, Miss Thompson. And that will never change. But he would have wanted you to be looked after. He would have wanted you to be supported. Allow me to realize my late brother's wishes.
different to you to imagine. Simon cannot be any more different from a man such as that. Of course, you knew that to be true, please. You helped him overcome his impediment. I really showed him what he was capable of. before you trouble him. You are welcome to visit at any time. <laughs> Show me what you've been learning all summer, sister. I do not share you my food. You do what you did the other morning ever again. Do you understand that? Yes. Oh, you mean visiting my new acquaintance from Dandela Park? I was wrong about her, brother. She's wonderfully enough nothing to write up. I was not worried about him. Not worried about what?
discuss the order of events this evening? Naturally. Well, I think it wise for us to engage in three dances, would you say? Two. It is our ball of grace. I do fear two dances may leave our guests terribly unexcited. I suppose in the opposite, I rather think, leaving them overly excited and terribly unruly. Two dances at most. <laughs>
Straight away. Miss Eloise. I have pin money. A great deal of it.
you need to let go. You're right. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm so sorry.
a splendid soiree. Good morning. Now go out at once. I'm so sorry. For what? Even a duke cannot control the weather. I know that this is not what you had envisioned for the evening. Certainly not. For that, I... It is better. I know why you made that vow to your father. I found the letters you wrote to him as a child, and I read them. Just because it's not perfect does not make it any less worthy of love. Your father made you believe otherwise. He made you believe that you needed to be without fault in order to be loved, but he was wrong. Should you need any proof of the matter, then, then look just here. Oh, I am tired of pretending. And I cannot continue acting as if I didn't. Parts that you believe are, are too dark and too shameful. Every scar, every flaw, every imperfection. I love you. You may think you are too damaged and too broken to ever allow yourself to be happy, but you can choose it's differently, Simon. I just wanted to let you know that you're You can choose to love me as much as you. I love you. We can't wait to have you back here with us.
If there is to ever be a grander finish to a season than the one provided by the Duke and Duchess of Hastings this year, this author will need to feast upon her own words. For it was this couple's memorable affair that brought another scandalous London season to a close. As many now leave the city behind for greener pastures, some endings seem more permanent than others. <laughs> Stay in London a little longer. Take some time to enjoy ourselves. Just the two of us. And you? What are your plans, brother? Nothing of note, other than finding and promptly declaring my intentions to my new Viscountess, of course. The Viscount is ready to find and declare his intentions. Did you hear that, Your Grace? And which young Does lady? it matter? I finally determined the difficulty of love itself. Removing it from more romantic relations shall make me all the better for it. No more distractions from responsibility will be away laid from the sensible path. Yes. 
and then I heard two pops. My mom screamed. I yelled out for her. And then a couple more pops. Take your time. Take your time. Where are you? Avenue. Avenue Road. East Bob and Virginia for me, please. going to survive his injuries and that we're only going to have one witness that we can interview. And that is his daughter, Jennifer Pan.
hear my parents going down the stairs, and my mom was asking them for me to come with them. They wouldn't let me come with them. After they said, the last thing I heard them say was, you lied, you lied to us, you lied to us. And then I heard two pops. My mom screamed. I yelled out for her. And a couple more pops.
regards to gambling debts or weapons or drugs or a, a, a dispute with a neighbor, something that has triggered him to become a victim. He said to my father, you lied to us, you lied to us. You just had to cooperate. And then they shot him. I'm looking out of a room that's ransacked, and it's typically what, what a room would look like. There's some bloody clothing, pajamas, the area where Vic was soaking her feet after line dancing. But there's also stuff here that ought to have been taken, some valuables uh, that were touched. start thinking about my own family and about how things can change um, in a moment and change forever. First assignment I'm tasked with is conducting a large scale canvas of the area in and around where the pans live.
có những cái buổi uh, tối thì cô đến tôi đến nhà cổ tôi uh, chơi xong rồi tôi có mời ăn cơm họ rất là sợ lỗi mà họ rất là rộng rãi đó. họ quý bạn bè đàn ông mà rất là bình dân giản dị. They they were just really quiet people. They they didn't love anyone. Yeah, it's really sad. The randomness really scares me. It's uh, you know, if there was a motivation, if there's reason, uh, you know, then we can all say, oh, it's it's their they had the reason why. I promise you that we will leave no stone unturned in our efforts to identify and to bring to justice the suspects who brutally murdered.
I just moved on. And um, do you have a girlfriend? Sorry? Do you have a new girlfriend? Currently? Yes. I'm seeing someone. Oh, okay. What's your name? Uh, Christine. Christine. Okay. But you and Jen still talk on the phone regularly? Well, she tries to call me once in a while. I'll call her or something like, just to see how she's doing. Because um, we were actually both getting uh, harassed by private phone calls. And Who was you and Jen? Yeah, me and Jen. And you've received those over the last, like, up to, up to actually like two days ago, two, three days ago. They just call, and then I'd answer, and then it just go quiet for like about 10 seconds, and then they'll hang up. And it would happen over and over, and like it got ridiculous, it was like a hundred times, up to a hundred times. And then it went from hang up to text message, to fake one. up you know some money and she said she spent it all on a paintball gun for him I couldn't even fathom you know spending a couple thousand dollars on like one piece of equipment 
but she said she felt like she had no one better to spend it on, including herself. York Regional Police are still searching for clues in Monday's violent home invasion that claimed the life of a Markham woman. How they got into the house? Doorbell ring, no. kick door, nothing like that? No. Okay. Is there anything else that you can think of that might help us right now? I now need to get Jennifer in for another interview and ask her some of the more difficult questions. I want to know who she should follow up with.
to be friends. She was winning all the competitions year after year. She was the best of the best. I mean, the dedication that her parents put behind her, the thousands of dollars a year spent on all the competitions was just incredible. And one day at one of the lessons, her and she says Fernando my parents they don't trust me where I go they follow me around they don't want me to go out with my boyfriend he's not acceptable to my father he won't allow me to waste time to go out with a cook they are just driving me crazy So what kind of judgment did your father pass on him? I was, I wanted to do 